What is going on everybody? In this week's video, I wanna show you guys how to quickly and effectively edit great photos in Lightroom in 10 minutes or less. So this is gonna be a pretty fast tutorial. It's gonna be fast paced. You guys can re-watch it. So I only have 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started right now. Let's go guys, we're jumping right into Lightroom. Okay, so upon loading your image into Lightroom, uh, travel to the develop module here. You'll probably be in library, but switch to develop. Now the first thing that I like to do to all my images is to scroll down and enable the profile corrections and remove chromatic aberration. Now the profile corrections aren't quite loading here on mine because I took this with my drone so for some reason uh, the drone profiles are not loaded but usually when you check this box it will come up with a make model and of your lens. So after I do that, I'll go back up and I'll start adjusting the sliders. I like to start with basic. Um, Lightroom actually does a really nice job of organizing these tabs in such a way that you can work all the way down really easily. So I'll start in basic here. And the first thing that I'll usually do is reduce the highlights and increase the shadows. Then I'll increase the whites a little bit, increase the blacks, increase the texture. And usually when I'm using these presence sliders, the texture, clarity, and dehaze, I like to zoom in because uh, I don't want to make, add too much texture, but just a little bit is good. Somewhere around there feels right. We'll add a touch of clarity. And I think about 10 points in each is good. I'm not gonna use dehaze on this image. I will use some vibrance and I will use some saturation. And now we're starting to look really good. The other thing that I like to do kind of at the start here is to go in to effects or uh, detail rather. And in this detail tab, we can do some sharpening. So I wanna do some sharpening at the beginning of this image because it's gonna help this image look a lot better. Zoom in somewhere that should be sharp, like these trees. Uh, and what we're gonna do is increase the detail all the way, drop the radius, and then we can increase or decrease the sharpening. What you'll notice is if I increase it, it looks terrible. The reason is because the masking is at zero. So when if I hold the Alt option and move the masking, then you can see anything that's white is going to be sharpened. Anything that's black is not gonna be sharpened. So I just wanna hit the edges of the trees. Now you can see it's looking a lot better. Uh, we can even do a little bit of noise reduction on this photo as well. So I'm gonna increase the luminance just a touch. That's looking really good. Now, usually the next thing that I will do on my photo is to go in and do the HSL and color tab. And the reason why I like to do that, I like to do HSL so I can see all of them, but I like to adjust the colors in here. So the first thing that I wanna do is make this waterfall uh, more white and less blue. So I'm gonna go to luminance and increase the luminance of the blues. I actually might crank it up all the way. That is looking pretty good to me. And then I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the reds, yellows, and oranges. Um, I'm gonna go back to saturation here and bring each of these up just a hair. You can even try adjusting the hue if you want to change it maybe to make things more yellow. Um, but in this instance, I don't think that it's going to work very well in this photo, so I'm just gonna leave it. So adjust the colors as much as you want. Uh, this is a great place to go and adjust particular colors in your scene, and this is usually where I will do it. Now, the other thing that I like to utilize occasionally is the tone curve, and the tone curve is basically just a way of adding contrast, but it's more um, it's more customizable than the contrast slider here. So essentially to add contrast, you just create an S curve here. And I actually wanna bring up the lights, I think. Bring down the darks just a little bit. We're not adding a whole lot here, but you can see when I toggle this, is adding a little touch of contrast. I might even go back up and increase the shadows a little bit more now. Right about in there is looking good. So just the tone curve if you want. If it's feeling a little too advanced for you, just go ahead and skip the tone curve. It's not a big deal. So then you've got some other options. I usually don't use color grading, uh, detail we already used, and we're gonna go down and use effects in just a second. But at this point in my photo, I'm usually going to either do a crop or do some spot healing, or I can even use some of the masking tools. Uh, I'm not gonna talk a whole lot about the masking tools. I have another video designed for that, which I will link right here, but I will show you guys just briefly what I like to do on my waterfall images. I'm gonna grab the brush, and I'm gonna go in here with a brush with a high feather. And I'm just going to paint over where this waterfall is. 
and I don't want to see where that mask is. I'll bring that in there. And now we can actually, let's make sure that we unhide this now. There we go. So you can see now, uh, essentially what I wanna do here is brighten the waterfall. And if the mask keeps popping up like this, click show overlay to hide the overlay uh, or uncheck the box rather. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring up the highlights. Maybe I'm gonna bring up the whites. You can even drop the dehaze to kinda add a little bit of haze and mist in there. And now I think it's looking pretty good. We can toggle that off and on. Just brings a little bit of attention to that waterfall. That's all I'm gonna do in this example here is just that minor adjustment. I might bring the highlights down just a touch. There we go, that's looking a lot better. Okay, now the last thing that I like to do to my photos here is to go into effects and I like to drop the vignette to add a darkness around the edge of my photos. And that's looking pretty good. What I'm looking for is essentially a vignette where you can't really tell that I've darkened the outside of the photo, because uh, if I had it like this dark, it's pretty obvious that I've darkened the edges. But I also want it to be just dark enough to where it brings the eye into the center of the photo. So right here is looking just perfect for me. So that's really about all that I'll do. Occasionally I will go back and adjust the exposure after I'm done, or even maybe the temperature or the tint. Uh, just to make the photo feel correctly balanced here. And I'm holding the shift bar as I use my arrow keys to adjust this here, uh, which will make it so that the adjustments come a lot faster because otherwise if you just click one at a time, they don't happen very fast. So that pretty much wraps up how I quickly uh, and effectively edit my photo here in Lightroom. All right, guys, that's a wrap. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me for more really short tutorials on uh, concepts like this. So hopefully this is helpful for you guys to just learn how to quickly edit through your images and make really simple, basic edits. For those of you that don't want to spend hours post-processing on Photoshop, this is the way to do it in Lightroom. You guys will be able to create some awesome images in 10 minutes or less uh, if you follow along with this video. Thank you guys so much for checking this one out and I hope you guys all have a very Merry Christmas. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys next weekend. Bye-bye.